What's up my pointios, Andy, Andy Vlogs. Decided to share with you guys this content here. Today we're gonna to be setting up a ethernet switch. This is from the folks from D-Link. This is a pretty straightforward eight port gigabit ethernet switch. Uh, something interesting about what I'm gonna be doing here for my home network is I'm gonna be creating, obviously a, in setting up a switch within the network, I'm gonna be stemming it from a power line adapter because, well, in my home office here downstairs is not where my router is. My router is upstairs and I have at least three products or three computer devices that I need LAN internet or ethernet internet that have been getting Wi-Fi that it's been throttled and especially at work when I've been on Wi-Fi and I had to be on trainings and streaming and presenting and it's just been annoying. So I'd like to have a solution where I can connect via LAN into my all, all my devices and not be bottlenecked by Wi-Fi. Now with this setup, it's probably not optimal because with a power line adapter, you're connecting and feeding the internet through your existing electrical wired system. The power line adapter is taking that signal, turning it back into LAN and putting it into your computer. So I had varying speeds of like 10 download and 30 upload, which is kind of weird. My system is set to 50, I think 50, so I'm gonna have to reach out to my internet provider to see if they're throttling me. With that said, let's go ahead and unbox this quickly and then show you my setup here in my really, really messy office. The unboxing experience is pretty straightforward. You always have this like cardboard housing thing that they kind of float in. It's a pretty, pretty small device from the get-go. I mean, it kind of fits in the palm of your hand. It's like as big as a cell phone, if not like a Nintendo Switch. See what I did there? Pretty straightforward, you just feed it, you know, into one and then connect all of the other LANs to the other ports. Pretty straightforward. You need to have a plug, plug it into the wall. There's even wall mount screws with anchors for drywall and stucco if you want. Okay, I, I hate working in this space. This is where my internet is. I can't do anything about it. So we're gonna get Obviously the uh, the ethernet cord and we're gonna plug it into the router and then we're gonna plug it into this and then plug it into that So I've, I've connected the uh, Internet into the power line adapter and then I'm gonna go in and plug it in as you can see here You've got your lights that are blinking indicating the powers on indicating that it's uh, connected to the internet. The next thing that we have to do is hit the pair button. According to the instructions, you have to push the pair button for one second and then it'll start blinking. Once you do that, then you have to run down to the other one and you have to push pair again. And then once the middle house light is solid, then it means that you've got a pair. Let's go plug the other one in. This is gonna be more difficult because you guys can't really see. But I'm gonna take the TP link, plug it in here, plug it into the ethernet that's connected to my computer. Now I need to push the pair button over here because the house, the second LED dot is not blinking or connected. I need to push the pair button. It should blink. It's blinking, let's run upstairs. All right, it's starting to do its thing. All right, it's solid now. Let's run downstairs and see if it's solid as well. All three lights are solid. That's pretty solid to me. It's a very, very straightforward build. Uh, you, you know, just plug in the power. I think I'm gonna have it facing out or something like that. All the lights are going off. It's showing you now that there's power enough for it to take. Here is the ethernet for my power line adapter. We're gonna place it into number one. It should start glowing. Now it's showing that there's internet. We're gonna pass it through to all these guys. This LAN is connected into my desktop computer. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in number two. It's now showing internet. There's my computer showing connected to LAN. Here's my speed test. And it is passing through like nine or 10. Maybe we can get 30 to upload. A, that's what I'm talking about.
All right, folks, well, that was really straightforward, but I thought it was kind of interesting to throw the power line adapter twist in it. Switches are so easy to set up and they're so nice and my speeds are, are pretty decent. It looks like it's been able to pass through at least 10 megabits. That's what I was getting for the power line adapter. Nonetheless, guys, down below in the links in the description are links to these products. If you're interested, just know where my bias states. This is not a, this is not a, this is not a sponsored ad. This is just me, someone who's interested. Just so you guys know where my bias states, I have not worked with these companies. They did not provide these products to me complimentary. I purchased these myself. I'm just really interested in home automation and, and, and home networking. With that said, folks, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys found this interesting, let me know in the comments and hit that like button. If you want to watch more of my home automation, home security, and overall just lifestyle and, and funness, hit that subscribe button. Down below in the links in the description are links to the products that help support the channel so you know where my bias stands. This is not a sponsored video. With that said, my name is Andy. This is Andy Vlogs. We'll see you next time.